Hi and welcome back to This Homestead Life. I'm Jenny and today I'm going to share with you the homeschool curriculum that we chose for our son who is in the third grade this year. Okay, so today I thought it would be helpful if I shared our son's third grade curriculum with you. And I'm gonna take you through all of the subjects that he will be doing this year, as well as the subjects that we will be doing together as a family. So all of his individual studies and then um, our family studies, which our family studies are basically Bible, geography, and history. And then all of the enrichment studies, uh, which I will include a link in the description of this video for my morning basket video, which um, in that video, I kind of just take you through all of our enrichment studies for the year, um, as far as like poetry, music study, um, picture study. Uh, we chose three famous artists to study this year, um, nature journaling, things like this. So that link will be in the description, but let's go ahead and get on with all of the third grade curriculum for this school year. So this is the lesson plan guide from Simply Charlotte Mason that we will be using for our Bible and history and geography this year. So the whole year we will be studying Genesis through Deuteronomy. And you can see here that Monday through Wednesday, we will be reading the Bible and on Thursdays we'll be doing geography and history and Fridays history. So this uh, lesson plan guide is very very helpful. It breaks everything down into days and lessons so that I can easily plan and prepare and know exactly what we're supposed to do for all three of these subjects um, for studying them together as a family. Now for my third grader, he will not have any extra work. Whatever is assigned for the family portion of the lesson, that is all he will be doing. However, my fifth grade son and my seventh grade daughter do have some extra uh, assignments that um, will be assigned for history and geography. For geography, there is this Visits to Africa, which is a mapping guide that is from Simply Charlotte Mason. So essentially, we will be studying the entire continent of Africa this year since that goes along with our history and our Bible, Genesis through De De Deuteronomy. And so by the end of the year, all three of my children should know how to map all of the countries of Africa. They should know various facts about each country, um, 
history, culture, natural resources, all of these things, they should know so, so much since this is literally all we will be studying for the entire year. So every Thursday they will work on their mapping and uh, to go along with the geography and history is this beautiful book, Hungry Planet. This is also part of the Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum for history and geography. So this is just a very detailed and close look at all of the different countries around the world and how their culture, resources, how these things affect what they eat essentially. And it's just a very close look at the different types of agriculture in different regions and so forth. It's very interesting. And then also to go along with geography and history is this book um, that takes a really in-depth look at the global family based on country and continent and just has lots of facts and statistics and just really in interesting, beautiful pictures and information just to help you grasp the differences in the different countries all around the world. For our read aloud for history, I will be reading all of the kids, um, Ancient Egypt and her neighbors, and then Emmett will be reading The Boy of the Pyramids. Now, this is a separate piece to go along with their history curriculum that since we'll be studying Ancient Egypt all year. So this, these are just some beautiful pictures of different types of artifacts from ancient Egypt and it's just on high quality uh, paper and then it also comes with a pamphlet that kind of explains all of the different artifacts so this is just an additional piece to our history curriculum and this is also from Simply Charlotte Mason. Now the last piece of the history curriculum I wanted to share with you is the My Book of Centuries. So I have one of these from Simply Charlotte Mason for each of my children and it is a, basically a ginormous timeline. <laughs> each page represents a century. So it's all in order going from the beginning creation to the present and even a little bit into the future. So anytime they learn about any event or person, um, anything like that, they can record that into their book of centuries. Okay, now moving on to individual studies. So these are all the subjects that uh, my third grader will be doing on his own. So this is separate from family studies. So these are everything from like math, language arts, and science. It essentially covers those. So you can see that the each day looks a little bit different. So um, on Monday, he has math, spelling and language, and reading. On Tuesday, he has math and science. On Wednesday, he has math and reading again. So it kind of goes back and forth so that, you know, the days are not all the same and it doesn't get too mundane. So this lesson plan guide is again from Simply Charlotte Mason. And so you, each day they tell you specifically exactly what to do with your students. And it just makes it very, very easy and simple. I really like these lesson plan guides. I have them for um, my other two kids as well for fifth and seventh grade. So yeah, it just, now there are three terms in the year and each term they switch it up a little bit. So for math, we chose to go with Abeka. So we are actually transitioning from a private Christian school to back to homeschool. So we were doing homeschool and before COVID and then COVID happened and we uh, transitioned to a private Christian school for two years and I actually taught second grade. It was wonderful for us. We really thrived and loved it. However, we are back in homeschool now 
and my kids loved via Becca math so we chose to stick with this curriculum it is very a very strong math curriculum and all three of our kids really like math so that was the workbook for him that I just showed you and then this is the answer key that is for me to go along with that and then I also have the quizzes tests and speed drills for him so we will be giving tests and quizzes to our kids for math and they will be getting a grade and I've mentioned it before our kids love grades they are going to miss not getting a report card um, or they're going to miss getting a report card so we are going to give grades for math and then for my seventh grade daughter she'll be getting grades for science but here's just a look at that for language this is simply charlotte mason the curriculum for third grade so i like that these lessons are very short and concise it's not too much busy work at all and I still, I feel like it still teaches um, some very good fundament, fundamentals of language and grammar and um, memorization, spelling, all of these things. So the language and spelling go hand in hand. Uh, when you do a lesson of language for the day, that also will include a spelling lesson. So I like this style of spelling because instead of there just being a list of words to memorize it is actually uh, a passage or some type of quote that they would memorize uh, the spelling of each word and then you would dictate to that to them and they have to spell everything perfectly to move on to the next exercise so i really like this style of spelling These are the two readers that he will have for reading this year. So these readers are again from Simply Charlotte Mason and we are in our the tail end of our third week of homeschool and we are really enjoying the stories. He really seems to look forward to reading time. Um, so yeah, these stories are great. Uh, they're very wholesome, very interesting. Uh, and they also try to teach like a really good lesson somewhere in there like some of the stories that we've been reading recently have been about uh, developing good habits and so forth so these books are good for science this is the outdoor secrets living science book for the third grade range and i we're liking it i'm not sure that we're gonna stick with it so it's interesting but i feel like he wants more so we may be um choosing something else for handwriting this is the print to cursive proverbs from simply charlotte mason and i like that this is a combination of per perfecting their print as well as working on cursive as well so this is a combination and i just feel like my son really still needs help with his print writing so but i don't want him to totally go without cursive because that was one thing that he really enjoyed at our christian private school was doing cursive so i feel like this is the perfect mix now here's the last thing i'm going to show you these are our family read alouds that i do at night with the kids so we are reading the hatchet series by gary paulson so these are some really great books that teach survival skills so right now i'm reading the hatchet to them and then the next in the series is the river um, but basically the hatchet is about a 13 year old boy who is in a plane crash and is the sole survivor, the only survivor. Um, they crash in the Canadian wilderness and um, he has 
very limited resources <laughs> available to him on how to survive, but he does obviously have a hatchet. The book is called The Hatchet, and it's just very interesting. So I think we just got to chapter 11, but my kids are totally captivated and they're learning a lot. So this is a really cool way to build that kind of you know, just education into, um, into our day. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. So this is pretty much everything, um, for his curriculum. I pretty much took you through everything. Again, I will link in the description, my morning basket video on our enrichment studies and everything that is included with that. And um, other than that, I really hope that this video was helpful to you. And um, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.